program to give you latest news bulletins. Stay tuned to this station. Here comes the big bandwagon. One moment, please. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dolphin. Hello, everybody. Well, folks, a trip all the way out to Hollywood. Here's the proof. Menin is the choice of more skin specialists, more doctors of dermatology than any other brand, more than the next two leading brands combined. Remember, for Christmas, Menin gift boxes for men. As our story opens, it is 5.30 a.m. at the United States Marine Corps base, and the bugler is lustily, if not melodiously, heralding the arrival of a new day. <sighs> hey, Pumpkin, that's Reveille. Yeah, pretty, ain't it? You know, the beds they give you here make it a pleasure to get up in the morning. <laughs> Where will you get rich, Lighthouse? You can buy your own bed. Yeah, I got it all picked out, only it ain't exactly a bed. No? No. It's one of them chasing lounges. <laughs> a chasing lounge? Yeah, I was reading all about them in the Sears and Rowboat catalog. I never heard of them. Well, they ain't really for sleeping. They're for people who get tiresome in the afternoon and feel like collapsing. <laughs> hey, did you guys hear Reveille? Well, you have lovely weather for it. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
guy can't scare me with any of his threats. But when I tangle with Blick, I want to be able to do a good job of it. Well, nobody's stopping you, unless it's Blick. Ah, don't make me laugh. We've just got to think of something to stall Blick along until I'm in condition to knock his head off. I haven't any time to help you solve your personal matters, Quest. Go and find Sergeant Blick and tell him I want a complete report of small arms. Blick? Oh, I just got through telling you that Blitz is going to give me a punch in the nose the minute he sees me. Well, tell him I want him to give me you the report first. Oh, uh, listen, I wouldn't talk to that guy. Well, <laughs> well what's the matter? Are you afraid of him? Ah, uh, you know I'm not afraid of him. But what chance would I have to have with a sprained wrist? Oh, you told me once that you could lick him with one hand. I could, but this is the wrong hand. <laughs> I also want you to tell Corporal Gowdy to make a detailed list of all automatic weapons and extra equipment. I'll do it right now. I think he's in the library here. I'll tell him. Yeah. And then come to my office as soon as you get through. Okay, Flag. Hey, Gowdy, what are you doing? I'm reading a book. Well, you can put it down now. I'm impressed. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't hurt you to read a book once in a while. But who would I read it to? All the dames I know would run the next. <laughs> Why don't you read him a book on how to make love? I haven't written it yet. <laughs> hey, you know, I pulled a fast on our little blonde last night. I said to her, Honey, you'd be very proud to go out with a murine. And she said, You don't mean murine. Murine is for the eyes. And I said, Well, am I hard to look at? <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. Say, I meant to tell you, I was talking to that friend of mine, Dr. Sterling. You remember, you went up to his office last week. Oh, uh, he ought to remember he gave me some pills to pep me up for the prize fight. And they turned out to be sleeping pills and I was sleeping in the ring. Yeah, but you didn't see Dr. Sterling. That was some old guy that was minding the office for him. The guy who all his life has wanted to be a doctor, and when you walked in the office, he couldn't resist the temptation to make believe he was Dr. Sterling. Well, he certainly fixed me up good. Well, the old guy's very sorry about the whole thing. He's coming down here today to apologize. Ah, oh, what good is an apology? In the meantime, my wrist isn't getting any better, and Sergeant Bliss is looking for me. Well, what does Bliss want? He's looking for a fight. Well, you can't give him one. you got a sprained wrist. Well, he doesn't know about that. So he'll be expecting a fight. Then he'll have to wait. You know you can't get blood out of a turnip. I know that. But this nose of mine isn't a turnip. <laughs> now, let me know how everything comes out. I want to finish this book. Well, listen, your reading is over to the day. Huh? Captain Flagg wants you to get a list of all the automatic... De- Say, let me see that book. Hey, where did you get this? Are you kidding no. This has given me a terrific idea. I'd like to know where you found it. Well, uh, can anybody hear us talking? No. Where did you get it? Out of the bookcase. They keep books there, too, you know. <laughs> Did you 
ever see a reptile hypnotize a bird? Yes, no. I haven't time to watch you. But it's all done with the eyes and the mind. Well, you've got the eyes. <laughs> well, according to the book, there's nothing to it. Now, this is how it's done. I see Bliss coming toward me. Look, Quack. I don't have time for this sort of foolishness. The general is coming up. Get naughty guy like this. Now, Bliss's nicknames are Bulldog, Wildcat, and Tiger, because he thinks he's wild. So when I'm giving him the beady stare, I plant in his subconscious mind that he isn't wild. I keep staring at him and repeating, I'm just a little wildflower, growing mild to every hour. I'm just a little wildflower, growing mild to every hour. <laughs> We will return to our story with Victor McLagan and his captain's flag and Edmund Lowe as Sergeant Quirk. Ladies and gentlemen, any man on your Christmas list will be mighty pleased to receive a handsome Menon Christmas gift box. A gift box of Menon shave products. They're America's finest. The favorite with skin specialists. Yes, a recent impartial survey proves this important fact. Proves that more doctors of dermatology, specialists on skin care... Use Menon Shave products than any other brand. More than the next two leading brands combined. No other shave products offer such That's authoritative good. proof of quality. A fact that makes Menon gift boxes for men the perfect Christmas gift. There are four Menon gift boxes, each with a magnificent cover picture painted by a famous artist. Inside each gift box is a generous supply of Menon Shave products. Two kinds of Menon Shave cream, plus Menon Skin Bracer, Plus, men and talcum for men. These famous gift boxes sell for only a dollar and twenty-five cents each, with a big deluxe box at two dollars. They're exceptional value. And so, for the man in service, for the man at home, make this Christmas memorable with a men and gift box. Every man will appreciate it because man to man, it's men and. Just a little wild flower, growing milder every hour. <laughs> now, I just keep saying it over and over. Pretty soon, Bliss repeats it after me. I'm just a little wild flower, growing milder every hour. Yeah, that's it. And after we repeat it a few times, he starts believing it. Then, when I have him under my hypnotic spell, I can make him do anything I want. Now, what do you think of that idea, Flag? I'm just a little wild flower. Growing milder every hour. <laughs> Don't look at me that way, Captain. <laughs> I'm just a little wild flower. Growing milder every hour. Flag! Flag! Not you. I was only showing you how I was going to hit the tight Sergeant Bliss. I'm just a little wild flower. <laughs> growing milder every hour. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. What'll I do? What'll I do? Where's the book? Where, where's Corporal Gowdy? He's back. Get out of here. I'm just a little wild flower. Growing marvel every hour. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'll be right over and find out. I'm a Growing marvel every hour. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'll be right over and find out. understand that 
service in the Marine Parachute Troops is strictly voluntary. These troops are hand-picked, and only top-grade Marines are accepted. You know what it takes to be a parachute jumper? You know what it takes for a man to go up 25 or 30,000 feet in the air? I said, what does it take? An airplane. <laughs> All right, never mind the wise crack from him. And you, Lighthouse, what are you looking so disgusted about? I don't like your altitude. <laughs> hey, hey, Corporal, if a guy goes 25 or 30,000 feet in the air, can he get down all right? Well, they never left anybody up there yet. <laughs> but supposing you jump out of a plane and your parachute don't open, then what? Then you bring it back and they give you another one. <laughs> you mean they won't be mad at you? <laughs> Ain't it dangerous in one of them planes? No. In case of any trouble, you always have a radio. Well, if there was any trouble, I'd be too nervous to sit around and listen to the radio. <laughs> Above 17,000 feet, you have to breathe oxygen. Hey, what's that? It's pure air out of a tank. Hey, are you kidding? What do you mean, am I kidding? Well, I've ridden in them tanks, and I didn't think the air was so good. <laughs> This is a different tank. How do you know which one he was riding in? <laughs> hey, Dolly. Hey, what's this help now, fellas? Get them touch the quick. I've been looking all over for you, Dolly. Something terrible happened. Yeah? Yeah. I was showing Captain Flagg how I was going to hypnotize Sergeant Bliss. And before I knew it, I had Flagg hypnotized. Now, where's that book? I left it in the library. Well, let's go find it. You've got to help me get the flag out of this thing. Okay, okay. Uh, read your handbook for a few minutes, fellas. I'll be right back. Did you guys hear what Sergeant Quake told Corporal Gowdy? No. Well, I did, and I very... Well, what can you expect? Group. You don't mean group. You mean drop. Well, what can you expect from a drift? <laughs> Captain Flagg has been hypnotized. Hypnotized? Yeah, he's in a transom. I never understood much about that stuff. Well, it's the way that you put people in a coma. Well, ain't that hard to do? Not when you know how. Say, for instance, you wanted to hypnotize me. You were just staring my eyes and work on my unconscious mind. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Flagg is hypnotized. Hypnotized? Yes, sir. 
And we're trying to bring him out of it. We've tried everything, sir. Yeah, I was showing Captain Flagg how I was going to hypnotize Sergeant Bliss. And, well, before I knew it, the, the captain was hypnotized. And why should you want to hypnotize Sergeant Bliss? Well, he's, he's looking for me to punch me in the nose, sir, and I can't fight because i got a sprained wrist. Then why don't you go to Bliss and tell him the truth about your wrist? The truth? Well, that's an idea, sir. I never thought of that. <laughs> First, we must do something about Captain Flagg. I'm just a little wildflower, growing milder every hour. Here, let me sit him up here in this chair. There we are. The corporal, run over to the base hospital and get Dr. Clear. Yes, sir. Until you came along. Well, it's lucky I came along. You're as good as dead. You really mean that? Mean it? Why, if any undertaker should come along now and see me talking to you, they'd start bidding for you. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but you've got pulmonary trouble messages. Washington and the War Department gave the White House a preliminary estimate of 104 dead and more than 300 wounded tonight in the Army forces alone as a result of Japan's bombing of the island of Oahu. Neither figure included civilian casualties in the raid on Oahu, the principal island in the Hawaiian group. We return you now to Hollywood. Jim. Jonah started rowing out to sea and soon met his pal, the three little fishes, who said, I would even advise smoke glasses when you're reading Esquire. <laughs> Read it, but don't try to lift it. You mean my blood pressure is bad? Well, I guess offhand that it's about 220. Well, is that too high? Yeah, a little bit. Of course, everything is high these days. <laughs> All you got to do is take it easy and don't exert yourself. Any strenuous exercise is a tax on your heart and lungs. Well, that doesn't seem right. Why not? There's a tax on everything else. Why did the general have to suggest my finding bliss and telling him the truth about my wrist? Uh, I'd rather take a punch in the nose than do this. But I guess it's the only way to keep him getting a punch in the nose. Now here comes Sergeant Bliss now. Oh, I better talk fast. Hey, Quirt, I want to see you. I want to see you too, Bliss. I was looking for you, Quirt. So was I. <laughs> I don't mean I was looking for me. I mean I was looking for you. Beautiful day, isn't it? Just smell that air. Yeah, it's wonderful. I hope I can keep right on smelling it. <laughs> Blue skies. Sun shining, birds singing in the trees. That's wonderful to be alive. What are you alive with? <laughs> you know, it's silly to have a grudge against anybody. I'd rather be kind and sociable. Uh, did I tell you I just found out I had a bad heart? When did you find that out? About ten minutes ago. Must not overexert myself or have any excitement. Well, well, I certainly wouldn't take advantage of you. If you're in that condition... You mean you're willing to be friends? I sure. Then the two best top sergeants in the Marines ought to shake hands. Oh! Look out, that's my brain wrist. And I believe the two fine doctors and a reputable psychiatrist can't do anything about Captain Flagg's condition. I'm just a little wildflower growing milder every hour. As an active psychiatrist for over 20 years, this case of hypnotism is the most baffling of any I've ever witnessed. It's in the honor of it, yes, sir. I'm just a little wildflower growing milder every hour. The doctors have tried everything, Sergeant, but nothing seems to do any good. May I try something, sir? It's useless, but you may try. Thank you, sir. Captain Flagg. Captain. I'm just a little wildflower. You're a mile to every hour. Flag, there's a beautiful blonde here to see you. 
She's the most gorgeous girl you ever saw. She's crazy about you. Give me a glass of water, somebody. She's mad about you. She's crying because you won't talk to her. Here's the water, Sergeant. Don't let her cry. Can't you feel her tears dropping on your cheeks? Can't you feel her patting your face? Can't you feel her stroking your head? But this little blonde is crazy about your flag. Oh, oh. Hello, Kurt. Where's the blonde? I thought that would bring you out of it. <laughs> Sergeant Quirt will return in just a moment. Gentlemen, you know it's always important to look your very best, to keep your face looking smooth and well-groomed. And it isn't difficult. In fact, it's extra easy the Menon way. See for yourself. Just try the quick three-step Menon shave. Now, here's how you do it. Step number one, use your favorite of the three Menon shave creams. Brushless, plain, or mentholized lather. Each is the finest of its kind. Step number two, pep up your face with Menon Skin Bracer, America's most popular aftershave lotion. It's refreshing, soothing, and how the ladies like its subtle aroma. Step number three, the important finishing touch, Menon Talcum for Men, America's favorite. Takes the shine off your face, but its neutral tint doesn't show. And that's the three-step Menon Shave, gentlemen. Menon Shave Cream. Menon Skin Bracer. Menon Talcum for men. Man to man, it's Menon. For men in the U.S. services and for men at home, this Christmas give Menon gift boxes. They're handsome, practical, outstanding value. Each gift box contains everything for the perfect shave. The three-step Menon shave. Choose from four different boxes, each with a picture cover painted by a famous artist. Three men and gift boxes are priced at only a dollar and twenty-five cents each. The big deluxe box sells for two dollars. Here or in Canada, see your druggist for these outstanding gift boxes for men by Menon. <laughs> Flag, I admire you. You're very understanding. A captain has to be understanding. A captain? Well, you could be a major. All you'd have to do is to see the right people in Washington. Sure, it'd be a thing. And with your physique, you could be the best dressed officer in the Marines. All you'd have to do is to see the right tailor. Yeah, there's nothing to it. And you could be the handsomest man in camp if you'd see the right barber. You really seem so quite sure. But if you ever want to be a wildflower, see me. and Edmund Lowe as Sergeant Quirt in the humorous side of military life. Written by John T. Medbury and presented each week at this time by the Menon Company, the greatest name in shaving. Original music on tonight's program was composed and directed by Lou Kosloff. Hal Gibney speaking from Hollywood Radio City. <laughs> seals are the stamps that help fight tuberculosis. Your contribution to the health and strength of our nation. Buy your Christmas seals today. This is the National Broadcasting Company. Oh.